We're always looking for new and novel ways to save a bit of money on baggage fees. This month, we offer you the bag that turns into wearable luggage. So we obviously want to put the heavy stuff into this because we want the bag to be as light as possible. The idea is remarkably simple. A large number of pockets that you can fill up because remember, no one weighs you, only the bags. It's getting a bit heavy now, but it's still... Oh, look, there's an entire pocket that's not got anything in it. How could I have been so negligent? Now let's see how much it weighs. Oh, look, down at 9.2. As for my coat, however, that is weighing 8.3. For those women looking for something a bit more stylish, there is a ladies' version, which comes in a very nice denim. For most of the time, you'll be carrying it as a bag. Your bag comes your clothes. London's Heathrow is one of the world's busiest airports. A hundred million bags each year pass through this aviation behemoth. One of the biggest tasks faced by the airline and airport alike, of course, making sure the bags get where they need to go. This is where bag meets airline. One of my favourite bags, this one. 13.9. I am terrified that my bag will not end up in the right destination. Am I alone? No. There's lots of people like that. Lots of people insist on writing their own luggage label out. Right. So, once the bag goes, where does it go? It goes on a long journey down that way. Let's go and have a look and see where it's going. <laughs> After you. OK. What happens in here? It just follows on the conveyor belt with bags from other flights joining it. And from there into the dark, deep bowels of the baggage system. And that's where we're headed. Goodbye. In the hands of Virgin Atlantic. You can't underestimate the impact that it has. I think we can deliver everything up to that point. We can deliver great service on board with meals and in-flight entertainment and the plane can leave and arrive on time. But if your bag isn't waiting here for you, we haven't done what we were supposed to do. How much of the process is automated? It's 98% it's automated. And the system itself can handle four or 5,000 bags per hour. And that's for about 18 hours every single day. So this one, that's going to Charlotte. And then uh, Qantasberg, that's going to go to Dubai. And that'll end up in Singapore. Singapore. Sometime tomorrow, I should think. Joining 13 kilometers of automated, integrated conveyor belts. Landing here. Minutes later, in the loading hall. The numbers you see down here are just the number of checked in bags. How many of those have been loaded so far? So this belt is now doing Atlanta and Miami. Yeah. Wrong bag, wrong plane? No, so what will happen is the guys with the scanner here, when they scan this bag for the flight and scan it into the bin, if they were to try and load that onto a bin for the Atlanta flight, it'd get a prompt and it wouldn't let them do it. This is our manual handling aid. Just push it in, it goes green, and that just activates okay. the power assist on it. Stand aside, let the rabbit see the dog. Put the bag on here. I must save your back. It's rather good, that. And then the container on a cart to take them to the waiting aircraft. It doesn't matter how much automation is involved, Eventually, it always ends up with somebody having to push it. So, while you're up there enjoying a drink, a meal and a movie, your bags are down here. But don't worry, it's heated and it's pressurised. They travel in their own sort of comfort. One batch leaves, another arrives. This is the last part of the process. That's right, yeah, once, once we've got the bags on here, we're done. And then just the other side of here, our customers are waiting and they'll pick off the bags and go through arrivals. And this is the hard part. 
as you watch and wait, hoping that your bag is the next one to come along the conveyor belt. Surely there must be a better way to track luggage for your own peace of mind.